Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today on C Sharp and Sensors, we're going to look at getting tilt and compass direction. We're going to use this. It is a BNO 055. It's a nine degree of freedom sensor. So let's go take a look and see how it works. This sensor, you can see it's got holes for pins, but we're not going to be using those today. This one, being an Adafruit, has these black quick connectors, and that lets us just use one of these wires. So we just plug this in here, if we get it right for the orientation, and then we just plug it in here. And we're all done. Now let's go write some code. Step one, we're going to create a new IoT application. We'll name it the BNO055 sample, and that will create our sample app with a dependency already here on the Yoshi Maker library, which in turn brings in all of the Meadow Foundation stuff that we're going to use. Now we need to add a NuGet package. All we have to do is search for the BNO055. And you can see there's a Meadow Foundation driver already built for this. So we'll install that. Now we can head over to our application. We'll define a field for this. We'll create it here. Now, because we're using the quick connector here, we'll just use the hardware quick. That's all there is to it. Now the address, this one can have a couple of different addresses. If we flip it over, it says right here, the address is 0x28, and then we've got a little pad here that we can solder to make it 29. So 28, you can see back here is the default. So we're just going to leave that as the default. Let's zoom in on this code a little bit, make it easier for you to read. Now we're going to hook up an event handler for this. And we're going to tell it to start updating and let us know of changes once every second. So once a second, this on sensor updated will get called. First, let's take a look at the tilt. So we've got three axis tilt on this. You can actually see if I bring this down, this sensor has a ridiculous number of things that it does, even temperature, but you can see it has Euler orientation, gravity vector, acceleration. So you can actually measure how fast you're moving in one direction. So you can do things like uh, drop detection of a device, uh, it does quaternions, it does a lot of things. We're only going to look at the gravity vector that will give us our tilt. So that is this one here. And we're going to look at the magnetic field for doing a compass. So let's first look at the tilt. That is in three axes, X, Y, and Z. And the hardware has a little indicator right here that tells you. So it says Y is this way, X is this way, and Z is uh, down on this little board. So we're just going to display the three axis uh, acceleration, and I'll show you how that equates to tilt. Just going to uh, print this out as an ordered triplet, X, Y, then Z. So we've created that text and we'll send this out to the display. Because we're running this on events, we do not need even to use the run method. So that's our entire application, 40 some lines of code. Let's build this. Now I'm going to plug in the hardware. Now I'm going to open a terminal up to the output folder for our app. So here is our application. Over here, I'm going to SSH into our device. Change directories into YoshiPy. Make sure it's empty. 
so it's empty except for the run times folder that isn't going to change between runs so i'm just going to leave that on here now i'm going to use scp which is basically a secure copy uses ssh to remote copy files from my desktop down to the device i'm going to copy everything from the this folder to the target Once we've copied the entire app over, you can see it is now here. We can use .NET to run the app. And you can see the app is running. Now, I did not use units when I was telling it uh, what to print out. So this is in meters per second. And 9.8 meters per second is the uh, acceleration due to gravity. So if it's 9.8, it's basically 1G. You can see here, we're really close to zero in X and Y. And in Z, so down, we have 9.8, which means we are relatively flat. Now, if I tilt this, and I'm going to move it over just a little so we can see all of this, you can see here, it shows that Y is this way and x is this direction. So x is the first value here. So if I tilt it one direction, it goes all the way up to negative 9.8, roughly, if I can get it even here. So that's 1g in the x direction. It looks kind of tilted, but that's the camera angle. It's vertical. Now, if I go back the other way, it'll go back past to zero to 9.8 again. And I can do the same thing in the Y direction. So we've got roughly 9.8 here and back the other direction to positive 9.8. So there you have it. We've got tilt in all three axes. Now let's go over and take a look at using this as a compass so that we know orientation in space. I'm going to change simply what we output here. Again, we've got that same set of data coming in. So instead of using this, we're going to look at the gravity vector. And I'm just going to turn that into a compass heading. And I'm actually going to cheat and copy in some code here. This will turn the magnetic field into a heading. Basically, we do a little bit of math on the X and Y to get the difference between the two. And rather than turn that into a zero to 360, I'm gonna turn it into the cardinal names, which is, for example, north, northeast, north, northeast, southwest, that kind of thing. All right, so let's build it. We will redeploy and execute again. It says that it is currently pointed southwest, and I believe it is looking at this in the X. Yeah, so it's the X is pointed in southwest right now. So there is west. So if we turn this 90 degrees from west, say clockwise, that should go north, right? And then back to west, 90 degrees from it should be south. So we basically have a simple compass here. So that's it for this sensor. Again, it does a whole lot more than what I just showed here. I just wanted to highlight how easy it is to get things like tilt and compass direction in your .NET app. Thanks for watching.